So in today's video, we're going to be comparing Lightroom and Capture One as a raw converter. And you would think that the results are going to be exactly the same, but I think you're going to be surprised at what we find. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here my name is Dan and I make videos about all things related to photography and today we're going to be looking at two different raw converters that are probably the most well-known ones and that's Lightroom and Capture One and we're specifically going to be looking at just the raw conversion component of these two applications and just in case you're not familiar with raw files what we're referring to is the information that comes straight from the camera's sensor and it's saved onto a file when that camera is shooting in raw. Now a raw file is not a graphic file so not like a jpeg or a tiff file a raw file only contains information and it's up to the raw converters like lightroom and capture one to then grab that information and turn that into a graphic file and in theory you would think that regardless of where you do your raw conversion so whether you use lightroom or whether you use capture one or anything else really uh, you would think that the images will look the same because all you're doing is you're reading the raw file so that you can get the color information and the luminance information out of that file. And I remember hearing about this years and years ago about how they rendered images differently and how one looked better than the other. So I did my own tests and sure enough, there was a difference. I don't know why there was a difference, but there was a difference. And in my opinion, I leaned more towards Capture One. I thought that it rendered a much nicer and better looking file. But that was maybe five, six, seven years ago. So I thought that I would run the experiment again and see whether they've leveled up or there's still a big difference between the two of them. And again, I'm not going to be looking at any of the other features from the two applications. We're going to leave that for another video. Uh, we're just going to look at the way that it renders the image and we're going to compare the results and see what we find. Okay, so let me explain to you how we're going to do this. On the left side, I've got Lightroom. And then on the right hand side, I've got Capture One. And I've ensured that both applications are running at the latest version. Okay, so I, I'm, I checked that and uh, we are running the latest version of both of them. And then down the bottom, we have six images. These are the same files, the same raw files. I've just opened them up in both applications and uh, nothing has been done to the images. So this is the default as the applications open them. In the Lightroom uh, section, I mean the develop module. In Capture One, uh, it doesn't have a sort of develop module. It's just got some tabs up at the top. Um, I mean, the adjustments module, if you like. Um, so we are going to now pixel peep at these images, which they already look different to me. I'm not sure whether this is coming across in the video, but the image on the right hand side, the Capture One image has a lot more saturation in the sky. It's a little darker as well. Um, so hopefully this is coming across in the video. Now, Let's go in and have a look at um, some close-ups. So we are going to have a look at, let's have a look at this section first. Um, so what we have here is this palm tree here. I'm going to uh, zoom in to the same section in uh, Lightroom. And uh, the image is just a little bit offset just because of the layout, but um, this will still work. And what I want to point out to you is this section just over here in Capture One on the right hand side, this section of the palm tree. This is very clear that you can see a lot more detail in this section than you can in the equivalent section of the Lightroom um, image. Okay, so there's a lot more detail. You can see that that's more clear and hopefully this is again coming through in the video. Um, it's not just this section here. If you look at the actual trunk uh, there seems to be more detail, so there's a, there's a bit more sharpness and definition to it. Um, and um, if you look also at the bottom, the concrete part of the floor here, you can tell that it's much brighter in the Lightroom version than it is in the Capture One. So already we are seeing some differences. And we'll go into why there are differences. I mean, all you're doing here is you're opening up a RAW file which holds data. It's not... A graphic file it's a data file and then these raw converters are just turning this information into a graphic file so there's a obviously a level of interpretation that's happening um, if you look also on the right hand side there seems to be probably a little bit more warmth or saturation i would say 
Uh, if you look at the wall here on the right-hand side and you look at the wall on the left, uh, it's a little bit darker, but it's, there's also more color in there. So that's the first image we're going to look at. Um, let's also look at this image here. This is a um, an image that I picked just because um, it's got some colors. Okay, so we're, specifically we're going to be looking at maybe these two colors because they're the brightest in there. So let's go in here. And what I'm going to do is actually, let's have a look at the blue section or the blue uh, towel in here. And I'm going to try and put these side by side. And you can see also that in this image, there's more saturation on the right-hand side image. Uh, the blue there just looked way more vivid than the one on the left. Um, and let's have a look at the green as well. With the green, probably not as obvious, but there, there, there is more saturation on the right-hand side. Hopefully you can see that. So colors are also affected here, saturation. So we've seen detail already be a difference. We've seen brightness. Uh, we've seen, I think, also the um, the color temperature of the photograph is also uh, different and color. So we've got colors, detail, and color temperature. So far, they're not the same. So um, that's that image there. Now, the image that I wanted to show you the most was this one here, because this is the reason why I tend to go more or lean more towards Capture One than Lightroom because most of my work is headshot photography and portraits. And this is where I think Capture One really stands out. If you look at the uh, areas, oh, the, the, let's have a look at the image on the left uh, first. If you look at the section here with the forehead and just on the cheeks, just below the eyes, you can see that there's almost like a hot, that there's hot spots in there. So the way that it's rendering the difference between the brightest part of the skin and the darker parts of the skin, there doesn't seem to be much of a, gradu a graduation. It seems to jump quite a few steps from the darker section to the brighter section. If you look at the image on the right, you can see that the skin is way more leveled out, okay? Um, let me try and zoom in if I can. Actually, let's zoom back a bit. And you can see here, and let's do the same thing in here. Okay. You can see that there's a little bit more color on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, so Capture One has more color, and the skin does tend to look a little bit more natural. Okay. And then the image on the left. Now, you could probably get the image on the left to look like the image on the right, but it doesn't come out out of camera straight um, as it does in Capture One. Capture One, I think, just gets you much, much closer to a starting point if you're going to be doing your edits. So these, again, these images are not edited in any sort of way. Um, so you can see that the skin here on the right-hand side image is not as blown out and it looks way more natural uh, than the image on the left-hand side. And the reason why this happens as far as I can tell. I've done some re research into this, and this is not just explaining the uh, the skin tone here, but the colors and everything else is due to profiles. So when you uh, or when a Capture One opens a um, an, a, a raw file and turns it into an image, it does a an analysis of the image, and then what it does is it displays the image in a way that all the sliders on the right-hand side here, like on the, the adjustment panel, are set to zero, okay? Lightroom does exactly the same thing. When you open up an image, if the image is too bright, it doesn't reflect in the, uh, for example, the exposure uh, slider. The exposure slider will always be at zero, but it's starting at a different point. Okay, so when it opens up a raw file, it applies exposure, contrast, uh, highlight, shadows, saturation, detail, uh, or clarity and, and, and sharpness, all that sort of stuff. So as part of its profile, it applies those things and it displays the image as it thinks it should. And the thing is that they both do this very differently. So what is a zero in Capture One may not be a zero in Lightroom. In fact, it isn't in most cases. So they, the way that they interpret the file and display the file is slightly different. And that's why you're seeing a difference between the two. Now, these profiles, you can actually, in, in Lightroom, you can actually see the profiles. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see the calibration. You can see that currently we're running at version six and, um, and you can switch to some of the older versions. In fact, if I switch over to, I'll switch over to version one and you have a look at the histogram, you'll be able to see that it, it makes a difference. So when I go to click on one, 
you can see that the histogram has changed and that's because it's now displaying the information on the screen differently. So we'll go back to number six, which is the current one. And, um, and you can see again that the histogram has changed. Now, the uh, profiles on, uh, on Capture One are slightly different. Okay, so the way that it interprets the file is just different. And that's why there is a difference between the two of them. Now, it's up to you whether you like the left, you know, Lightroom or you prefer Capture One. For myself, I think that it renders, Capture One renders a skin a lot nicer. This is a good example of what I'm talking about. And when I look at uh, the images before I start, uh, before I start doing my edits, I find that it just brings me, it, it, I start from a, not from zero, which is what I do when I'm, I'm in, in Capture One, in, in Lightroom, beg your pardon. In Lightroom, I have to bring this image that you can see on the left to look like the image on the on the right before I start doing any of my edits because I can't have blown out skins. It doesn't it doesn't look good as you can see. Um, this the, the the image on the right looks way more natural. Now ultimately it's up to you. And both uh, Capture One and Lightroom are amazing raw converters. They do a great great job. And there's other ones as well that are available. I'm just looking at these two because these are the ones that I use. Um, and um, and if you're looking at just raw conversion, in my opinion, Capture One is better. Um, but it de really depends uh, on what you like, and um, and it, it, because it, it's it, there's no there's no right and wrong answer. It's whatever you prefer. Now I'm not looking at any of the other um, uh, features inside of the uh, applications. Obviously, I think Lightroom goes. Uh, way further if you're looking at doing editing and stuff like that, which is why I use both. I think there's a case for using both of them. And in some cases, I will do my raw conversion inside of Capture One and then do my edits inside of Lightroom before I get into Photoshop. Um, but you know what? It's great that we've got these tools that we can choose from um, that can help us get the images that we want. But I wanted to show you this because technically speaking, you would think that being a data file, a raw file, there shouldn't be any differences, but clearly there are differences. And look, the profiles keep getting better and better. You know, every release of a new version of the profile just improves on the last one. Um, but uh, there is a difference and it's going to be up to you which one you prefer uh, to get the look that you're after. Anyway, I'm not sure how surprised you are. I'm very surprised. Um, I'd be really interested to see what you think, whether you think that there's enough of a difference there to pick one over the other. For myself, I know that I'm going to continue working with Capture One because I think it just renders skin tones in particular uh, just a lot nicer than what Lightroom does. But I'd be really interested to see uh, what you think about this. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to support me, please don't forget to click the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I make videos like this every week to help you with your photography. So if you don't want to miss set on any of those click the subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you'd like to sign up for the lightroom preset of the month it's completely free you can do so by visiting ministryofphoto.com and you'll find all the information in there anyway that's everything for this week i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video